Let's see if we can take the antiderivative of this rational function. All right, well, it's a fraction. We do have a natural log in the denominator. This one looks kind of complicated. Um, I believe we're going to have to utilize u substitution to do so. But as we get going on this, I'm going to first just rewrite this and hopefully make sense of each one of these pieces. The 9 that's a constant, we can move that out in front of an integral symbol. So let's not worry about the 9. <clears throat> Next, I notice that we have x in the denominator. I could visualize that as 1 over x. We have natural log of 8x in the denominator as well. If you're okay with it, I'm going to go ahead and say well, that's 1 over the natural log of 8x. And then we had an x, a dx up in the numerator. I could just as easily put that at the very end. Um, and think to yourself, if we multiplied numerators together and multiplied the denominators together, hopefully we can kind of visualize we would end up with that same big fraction we started with. From here, we want to pick out what we're going to utilize for our u. Now typically you want this to be an inner function, but in this case we either wanted to choose it to be 1 over x or the natural log of 8x. Alright, I believe in this case we want to use natural log of 8x. And one reason why I'm saying that is when we take the derivative of natural log of 8x, that's our next step, is right, taking derivatives. So on the left-hand side, we get a du. On the right-hand side, we're going to have to use the chain rule to find the derivative here. All right, we get 1 over 8x multiplied by the derivative of the 8x. The inner function is going to be 8. And then we also put a dx on this side. So this leaves us with du equals, with a little bit of simplifying down, 8 in the numerator, 8 in the denominator, we are left with 1 over x dx. Okay, well that's actually pretty nice because the 1 over x dx out in front is 1 over x, right? And the dx at the end corresponds with that dx. So we can replace both of those pieces with du and we can replace this denominator with u. Okay, so what's that all look like as we put all these pieces together? Well, the 9 from out in front comes along. I'm going to go 1 over u. And then 1 over x dx all gets replaced with du. We could have rearranged it so they're right next to each other, but everything's multiplied, so we're going to replace all of those that I've put boxes around up there with du. All right, so how do we take the antiderivative of 1 over u? That's what this kind of boils down to. Right, the 9 is going to come along. The antiderivative of 1 over u is actually natural log of the absolute value of u with a plus c at the end. We include that plus c because it's an indefinite integral. <clears throat> so we're almost there to our solution. The only problem is we currently have a solution that has u's in it. Our original problem didn't have any u's. We kind of made up u along the way. So now, to finish this up, we're going to use that let statement, how we defined our u, and we're going to replace u with the natural log of 8x from the very beginning, that first line we wrote down. All right, so hope this helps out. It's a weird-looking solution. I'll grant you that completely, but that's the solution. So I do hope this helps. Good luck as you're working on them.